pandemic has changed how a lot of things operate, but for the foster care system, the need has not been diminished in the Mountain State. Our 13 News reporter Natalie Wattis spoke with a foster family recruitment agency to get details on how the pandemic has affected them and the children they care for. Natalie, what's the outlook? Merrily, good evening. NECO is an organization here in Huntington which helps place children in the foster care system into homes. And a spokesperson for the organization tells me the situation is dire. West Virginia nearly tops a grim statistic in the United States. We are just in a dire need for foster homes. In the state of West Virginia, there are 7,000 kiddos that are in the system. So per capita with our state, we're one of the highest states um, throughout the United States. We're in crisis mode, you could say. A troubling problem only complicated by the onset of the coronavirus pandemic. This may seem to be shut down, you know, things like that. Um, the need for foster care never slows down. Um, it's always been here, it always will be here. Thank you for calling next. But Liz Watson says there are many willing and loving families out there who have continued to open their hearts and homes even during the pandemic. 183 out of their Huntington office alone. Caitlin and Ashley Mundy are two people who recently took on foster children of their own. We have adopted three and we still are fostering. We have two fosters in the household right now. It's just been the biggest blessing. They complete us. But they say the pandemic has made the undertaking slightly harder in some respects. Visits with family are harder, any symptom that you have and or if they've come in contact with anybody that has or been around anybody that has a fever or anything like that, then they can't see parents. The pandemic has not only complicated the foster care recruitment process, it may have also complicated the process by which vulnerable children are identified in the first place. The kiddos are at home, they're doing remote learning, um, you know, there's, there's not a lot of tips going on, you know, things like that. So I just think overall, that's been a concern. Now, Liz Watson tells me they expect to see referrals for kids to be placed with foster homes to rise once children are back in school. And now, if you're interested in learning more about our state's foster care system, NECO, and how to help, we'll have that on our website, www.tv.com. In the studio in Huntington, Natalie Wattis, 13 News, working for you.